I appreciate you bringing all the stuff out. Um, again, I'm Kyle Well Pros where we just care about the gear. You know what it is. So um, Leo, let's start with the bats. Uh, DTB. Let's go with what we got here. Yeah, first we got the dovetail. Um, it's like dog Vader right here. It's, uh, um, it's a birch bat. I don't know exactly what finishes. It's like a matte kind of finish with a little bit like sandpaper vibes. Kind of yeah. gets the ball jumping a little more. Gets a little more backspin. We got the gold DTB right here, which goes nuts. And then they put my, uh, put my name right here. It's a nice little valid vibe right here. What model is um, this model is a uh, I13. It's like their version of the I13 model right there. Yeah, and then this other one with the uh, with the XR the other, handle. The other DTR ba DTB battery got right here. This is um the BP35. Yeah. Pretty sure it's Brandon Phillips model or Brett Phillips model. My bad. Yeah. And uh, got the red finish, matte black. Put a little silver right here. Um, lovely colors. One of my favorites. Right what here. size are these? Uh, these are both 33 and a half, 30 and a half. So, gotcha. how do you choose the colors? Uh, honestly, I sent this to Paul and I was like, "Yo, just cook up something crazy for me." Yeah. And my man Paul held it down. He put the color combos together, which is pretty sick. Uh, Paul DTP, the goat. Yeah, he take care of everybody. My guy. Shout out to Paul. He's the gang. That's facts. That's facts. All right, so we got a Marucci in here too. Uh -huh. We got a little Marucci vibes. We got a Nikki Two model Marucci vibes with the uh, lizard skin, yeah. little pirate colors here. Uh, I believe Nikki Two's for Nick Castellanos. I believe. Shout out to CJ Abrams. He held it down. Gave me a bat. Give me one of these bats and I tried it out. It was valid. So, um, 33 and a half, 30 and a half. Put my name on it. Nothing crazy. Put a little lizard skin on it, but um, that's the trick. That's the trick. Yes, then we got a little Louisville here, too. I'll mix it up. Put a little Louisville. Got the Pittsburgh Pirates vibe here. I13M, 33 and a half, 30 and a half. So, put a little Pirates lizard skin here. Keep the gold going. Yeah. Now, lizard skin. Always like, bro. Nobody got it like Lizard Skin the way that they do. Yeah, Lizard Skin got the vibes. Um, looking to do something crazy with Lizard Skin moving forward, but they got crazy vibes going on here. Mm -hmm. You were talking before off camera about the glasses, 100%. First of all, who put you on, and then what are those flavors? Uh, who put me on to 100%? I think I've seen a couple cats in the league mm -hmm. with them, but to keep it 100, I think the first guy I seen with them was like Otto Lopez when I was with the Blue Jays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had some 100 P's on. And then I tried them on, and I like the vibes, and I've been rocking them ever since. I left a couple at the crib because I was sick. I didn't get to pack my bag, but uh, the rock with the hundred P's, and recently the Oakleys. Can't remember exactly what model, but they kind of like the hundred P's, running like longer, a <laughs> little more shape down here. The big body. Yeah, the big body yeah, Oakleys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are the vibes right there. I'm liking those. Uh huh. Uh, the cleats is crazy. Let's talk about the customs. Right. What we got here? So, unfortunately, I forgot a couple of them at home, so I was sick. But these are a little bit used right now. This has been game used. Got the Jordan ones. Black and yellow vibes right here. One of my personal favorites. Um, these are done by Stadium Custom Kicks. I love Jordan ones. Anybody knows me, you're gonna see me in a pair of Jordan ones at all times. So these are my, one of my favorites here. Hit my first one run of these too. So these are uh, these are special for me right here. And then we got the uh, off whites right here. These are supposed to be like the off white Air Force ones. We did the little remix. Got the gold going. Got the off white Nike Hirachi Elite. And then got the silver right here. I got these in real life too, one of my favorites. So the yellow I'm, joints. Yeah, the yellow oh, joints. So I'm just into just whatever I like in real life, I just throw them on my spice. So. Right. What's some Brooklyn ones? The blue ones, right? Oh now you need those. Super late. Yeah, oh, just they, I can't wear them on the field, yeah. Oh, boys, of course, of course. <laughs> but yeah, the Brooklyn ones go nuts. Uh Nakona is the glove that you're rocking here. I also seen the Nakona belt, of course, but let's talk yeah. about that first. So we got the Nakona glove. We got um built different on the side here. It's my business. Everybody in New York City know about built different. We hold it down. Um, the corner glove is fire. Some good leather here. Made a couple cool catches in this one, so I'm yeah, this American one. made. Yeah, American Tell us more made. about Build Different. Um, Build Different is a company by, made by me, my brother, and two of my close friends, Justin uh, Lopez and Chris Perez. Uh, we both we all grew up in New York City, and to make it out of New York City, to be doing things out of New York City, you got to be Build Different. Don't have the same opportunities. You know how it goes, like you growing up here, baseball wise, not getting a lot of looks. So you gotta you gotta stand out. You can't be like everybody else. So you're just trying to hold it down. You. Love that. Yeah, we were talking with Josiah Gray. He was like, yo, like coming out the city, like the pipeline to the league is, is not, you know, all that decorated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the pipeline is not there, but we're making it happen. Like, shout out to Sale Gray's, mm -hmm. helped me out in my career and uh, started off with the Bonnies when I was young. And just uh, shout out to youth, like the youth organizations putting outlets out there for kids to play baseball. Oh, dozens, bro, dozens. Uh, let's talk Bruce Bolt. Bruce Bolt, I see Bruce accessories, Bolt, yeah, so batting gloves, all that. got the Bruce Bolt accessories. Let me pull some on my pocket right here, too. Uh, got the, we got them everywhere. So we got the Bruce Bolt batting gloves, black with a little tan right here. Calm vibes, one of my favorite. These batting gloves last you the whole year. Yeah. They're lovely. We got the gold edition going right here. That's fire. Um, these are one of my favorites. I rock them consistently. Go well with our black and gold jersey. 
Um, just vibes. Good quality, good vibes right here. Then we got the gold wristbands, black wristbands. Two of my favorites. You probably always see me with this. I usually got a sleeve on one side, wristband on the other. So uh, these come in handy. And then we got the gold and the black sleeves right here holding it down. Uh, honestly, Pittsburgh got some of the best colors in the game. Black and gold go crazy, so it's lovely. Undefeated. How'd you find out about Bruce Bowl? Uh, my brother actually put me on. He knew about them for a minute. He signed with them a couple years ago and uh, saw him getting trippy with the Bruce Bowl. So got a shout out to him. Little bro put me on to the Bruce Bowl gang. Yeah, yeah. So growing up in Brooklyn, where were you shopping for your gear growing up? Oh, are we talking clothes or baseball gear? Baseball gear. Baseball gear? Oh, uh, well. Brooklyn Sporting Goods. I yes. think everybody in Brooklyn know about Brooklyn Sporting Goods. Elite. They had everything. They had the hats. They had the wristbands. That's when, like, Franklin wristbands were going crazy. Oh, my God. The Franklin batting gloves. <laughs> you get the stirrups, the socks there. I believe the dude that runs the name is Joe. can't remember. But uh, right. Brooklyn Sporting Goods, man. Shout out yeah. to those guys. They're where were they down. at? What's the, where, where, this is in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Um, can't remember the street, but I remember taking trips with my pops in Fort Greene. Another question I always ask, guys. Do you remember your first real glove when you were growing up? Yeah, my first real glove was actually a catcher's mitt. A lot of people don't know I was a catcher. Yeah, yeah my pops got me a hard to high catcher's mitt, and uh, that was my first real glove. It was pretty sick. And then um, I think I got an A2000 catcher's mitt as well, and kind of just rocked out with those two for a long time. What were you rocking at other positions growing up, glove-wise? Um, shoot, other positions, I was just kind of grabbing whatever I could get. I remember I had like an A2, I don't know why, but I had an A2000 outfield glove too, um, Rollins, and then... Uh, after that, I kind of just take whatever I can get at that point. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Jordan 1s, that you always got a pair on your feet. What are some of your favorite colorways? Um, uh, ones I rock today, I got the satin, black, and, uh, no, actually the patent leather, black, and uh, red. Yeah. Jordan 1s, one of my yeah. favorite. Yeah, satin. yeah, I love those. Um, I got the reverse shattered backboards. Love those, always in rotation. Mm -hmm. I got the Chicago ones. Um, I got the regular blue and white ones. Um, I got the Travis Scott ones. I got the blue ones. I got the brown and the ones. Little Sakai joints. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. bro. Um, shoot, I, I got pretty much every Jordan one I could find. Yeah. I got the the black toes, um, and more to come. Oh man, You're going crazy with it. Um, yo, and another one that I, I have for other guys. Um, you know, let's say you, you go on a road trip and your gamer bag goes missing, and somebody can't pack your stuff for you. You got to borrow a bat and a glove from a teammate. Who do you think you would uh, borrow from? Oh, bat and a glove from a teammate. Um, definitely going McCutcheon's bat. There's plenty of knocks in that thing. And then um, if I had to grab a glove, I would say Jack, but he's a lefty. Yeah. So <laughs> probably going to have to use Hank the Tank's glove out yeah. there right there. Um, the, uh, the Nakona belt, like how did you even find out about them? They reach out? Uh, yeah, they sent some belts, and I also actually have a core energy belt. Yeah. Uh, I have it inside, though. I can grab it low-key. Got a fire core energy belt, yeah, yeah. and um, I actually been rocking that lately. I love those things. Wow. I'm gonna go snag that. I forgot that in there. Yeah, no doubt. No so doubt. you mentioned the core energy belt. I'm glad you brought them out. Tell us about what we got here. Oh, so we got the core energy belt. They held it down. Did a special edition for for your boy right here. We got the gold buckle. Um, gold buckle goes crazy. Love that. Love gold. Then slide over to the side. We got the built different written right here, and then we got the built different logo posted up right here. Um, belt is lovely. Helps you with your internal pressure. Helps you hit the ball a little harder, run a little faster, do all them things. Like a weight belt for athletes. So um, I I've been loving it. Been using it every single day. Big vibes. And low-key might be selling us online, too. Build different editions. So, keep, that, yeah, that. keep your heads up, kids. Nah, low-key, the attention to details fire because, like, this padding behind, like, I know you know when a head first dive, oh. it's clip. Boy, <laughs> super clip. Sliding back to first base when they're picking off. Nah, Without bro. this pad right here. Your stomach is hurting, bro. You getting poked in the stomach. You getting all types of cuts over here. Potential details, crazy. Or diving in the outfield, you don't want to be getting hit with a belt buckle. Feel that, yo. Thank you for bringing this out.